We're joined now by Husker Alliance, Sean Callahan. Sean, we need some clarity about uh, Mac Barkway. How long has this been in play for, and is he eligible to play this season? Clear this up for us, Sean. Yeah, Mac Markway, you know, really hasn't been in play as long as you think. I mean, he left. He practiced for a week at LSU. Okay. Um, played in 12 games last year. Uh, left the program on his own. Obviously didn't go on the portal because you can't go on the portal. And then at that point began his own process and visited schools on his own. I don't know what other places he went to besides Nebraska, checked out the campuses and just enrolled at Nebraska as an unrecruited athlete and that is the one thing the transfer portal allows you to be recruitable. You can't stop a guy from signing up and going to school somewhere. So he just showed up and at that point uh, joined the team. I Now, I was told by somebody yesterday within the program they expect him to play. But we haven't heard that from Matt Rule, um, the logistics on that. So that will be a good thing Matt Rule can address on Thursday if if he is indeed eligible to play. Uh, because of the new transfer rules. I mean, these transfer rules have changed so much by the day um, that there really are no rules <laughs> at this point. <laughs> transfer. That's awesome. But you see the problem, Sean, or the potential for problems in this. What if what what if he decided to transfer to an opponent? You know, like within the conference that they were going to play. So he left one camp to go to another team where they who who they would play. He could, I guess. It's, but it's really odd. It's an odd scenario. Like it doesn't strike me as real. Like, wait a second, you, you can leave one team within the season <laughs> and then, and go to another team. Well, yeah. the, and that's the transfer portal rules. I don't know if you followed the windows, <clears throat> obviously the December window, they want to continue to have That's a big one, Yeah, I follow but the there's windows. a push to eliminate the spring window. So if that were the case, you couldn't even enter the portal, you know, from January on you'd have like only like one month to do it and the other 11 months the portal will be closed so ways like what we're seeing right now with mac markway would be how people would have to enter the portal where you just say i'm leaving lsu's team and i'm going to enter and enroll somewhere else as a new student the key is you're unrecruited um you know and like there's there's walk-ons that can come in as unrecruited or recruited i mean there's there's different ways you can recruit athletes to your campus but he was not recruited by nebraska because they couldn't legally recruit him uh, because of the way he was available or the way he came to them. Yeah, interesting. And Satterfield said yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, that he didn't even know about it until like mo- Monday. And and Mark Way, um, his junior and he was a highly ranked recruit, but his junior and senior years at Desmet Jesuit, who by the way plays Creighton Prep in the football game this weekend, he did not play those two years. He was hurt. Mark Way's father was a great player for Iowa. So the thought was maybe Iowa would be somewhere where he would look to attend. Uh, but surprise, I talked to an LSU writer, um, uh, Shea Dixon, someone I'm sure Bill knows well too. Um, and he, he said that, he, you know, he surprised everyone at LSU. Like nobody really had an expectation for him last year because of the injuries. And he played in all 12 games as a true freshman uh, for Brian Kelly um, going, uh, you know, and, and this year, I, I don't know if he liked kind of where he sat heading into this year. Okay. By Sean Callen. Sean, regarding the depth chart, Nebraska announced it on Monday, and no starting running back has got a bunch of oars. Four guys with oars by at running back. Do you expect to see Emmett Johnson? Or what do you expect to see at that picture on Saturday with, with that depth chart being listed? I still think Ramir Johnson and Emmett Johnson are going to be probably the first two backs we see. It would not surprise me if Ramir Johnson is the first one we see. And you get the sense, you know, they want it to whittle down to, and, and he said that in so many words yesterday. Um, but for now, I think they're keeping things open to let things play out. Um, but you wonder how big of a opportunity will Dowdell get? I mean, if one of these guys gets hot, will it get down to somebody? Who, who is the fourth guy, really? Is it Dowdell, like we think? And will he really truly get enough carries to even get into a rhythm? Because that is the challenge you run into when you have four. And if you're trying to rotate, it's very difficult to get a, a, a guy into a rhythm. And sometimes you need 10, 15 carries to truly see what a guy can do. Sean Callahan joins us. Sean, there was two names on the defensive depth chart that uh, I thought kind of stood out because we haven't heard that much about them. One is Derek Branch. One is Ramir Stewart. They're both uh, – Ramir Stewart's a backup rover to Isaac Gifford. Derek Branch. Derek Branch is from Lincoln Southeast. 
who just seems out of nowhere rose to be number two at safety behind Malcolm Hartzog. What do you know about Derek Branch? Well, yeah, I saw him play at Lincoln Southeast, and they had a ton of ton of talent on those teams when he was in high school. And he always stood out as a guy when you looked at him. Like he's good looking frame athlete. And you know, he's developed, that's clear. And I, I also think when you look at that depth chart and the secondary, the front is so established, but especially at safety, they don't really have like established, you know, Kobe Bratz is an established guy that's been here for a while, but they don't really have a lot of other players, you know, that have you know that have risen. And those are the two guys that have risen in those safety spots. There are some other true freshmen, I think, down the road, whether that's Gradney or Benning. Um, Caleb Benny and Roger Gradney and, and, you know, even Rex Guthrie, you, you, you yeah. can see some other players um, that, that could get themselves in that conversation. Um, but, you know, right now, I mean, that's kind of where it's at. I mean, I, I think the, the starters are so established though. And, you know, that's one position where you don't sub as much the front seven, you'll see more substitution, but we've seen in the back end, a lot yeah. of times those guys can, can play a lot more snaps in a game. Yeah. Sean, Bill Bush, 93.7, the ticket. Uh, <laughs> question for you, uh, and also Shea is a great, great human being at LSU. Yeah, he's great. I know you guys are good friends. Question for you. I know there's been an injury, but the name that has not come up at all, in my opinion, in a year is Maverick Noonan. Hmm. I don't hear his name anywhere. What is going on with Maverick Noonan? Highly recruited. Well, he had a sig- I would call his injury fairly significant that he had a year ago, a knee injury. And he, you know, he missed a full year of football. He just got himself you know, fully back in the mix. Um, and, and, you know, I, I think you'll need another year to kind of gain that confidence and in, in, in just what he had back. But that's another area where they have so much depth um, Jack. At, the, at the Jack spots. I mean, Prince Well and, and MJ Sherman are just ahead of him right now at this point. So, you know, will he be called on in a special teams role? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, you're right, Coach. He's not really a guy. Um, you know, not being not on that first depth chart that you have much of an expectation now going into the opener. Great. And and I will say this, I'll add this. We uh, I saw a photo of him, Sean, that we had, and he's wearing an enormous knee brace. Hmm. I mean, it's an enormous knee brace. Um, so I think that's that that's what part of this is. Go ahead, Jake. Sean, that's all we have for time for you. Wait a second. That's Wait, it. Do you have any last question? <laughs> no, Anything no, else? No, no, no. All right, Sean. No. Always good stuff. Thanks for the time. We'll chat with you next week. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Take care. All right, God bless. Sean Callen.